This is my new field jacket from Canada Goose. The main reason why I bought this jacket is because of the design. Canada Goose is famous for their warm and super warm winter coats. Coats that are evidently used by polar expedition members and oil drillers in the northern part of Canada or the US, the North Pole and other cold places on Earth. But besides parkas, they make jackets for fall. Yes, they do. I was eyeing this Stanhope jacket for some time. I wasn't sure how justified this purchase would be because I mostly wear my Barber Beaufort to fall. But I like the design and I finally pulled the trigger. I got the version in sky blue color or as the company calls it, Tempest Blue. Lightweight and versatile, this jacket is made with a Duraforce fabric that should protect an owner from wind and rain. How good the fabric and the quality only time will tell. So far, I have only tested it in a light rain, and it was fine. So let's see the features of this jacket. As I just mentioned, the jacket is made with Duraforce light wind and waterproof fabric. The color and hem can be adjusted to block out cold winds. The jacket has reflective details on the color that add visibility in a low light. It has six exterior pockets and doesn't have any interior pockets, which I think would be nice to have. This is a nice uh, warm fleece lining in, in this exterior pocket. So in total, they have six exterior pockets. You can see one, two, three, four, and two on the side here. There's no interior pockets, which is shame. I would love to have one, at least one, would be nice. You have a soft lining as well. This is a material information. And here is the Canada Goose temperature rating for this jacket. So it's from five to minus uh, five Celsius. I don't think it will, will be really suitable for minus, um, even minus five, unless we will have a really good layering. The zipper is YKK and it feels pretty solid. Cuffs can be adjusted to two positions with the buttons. The overall build quality is nice and seem like a carefully produced garment. I bought this jacket in my regular outwear small size and it feels a bit generous with a t-shirt only, but it's a great fit for Larian during fall. It has lifetime Canada goose protection on the material or craftsmanship failure. They promise to repair or replace the product if any failure shall occur. The warranty does not cover any repairs needed due to accident, improper care or natural wear. So far, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. This is a pretty capable field jacket with a very nice contemporary design. I can see myself wearing this field jacket very often during those windy and rainy fall days. The only thing that I dislike about this Ten Hope jacket is the hood on the back and how it's sticking out. I'm okay with the ventilation feature, but they could make it more elegantly, I think. With this net, it's kind of supposed to be very good for the ventilation, but I don't like how it stick out on the back and I don't really see a purpose for that. But that's what it is. Uh, I can live with that. It's not a really big deal for me, but I pr would prefer if they uh, wouldn't leave it like a just regular back without any um, ventilation here. Unlike their Parker products, this jacket is made in Portugal, not in Canada. Price-wise, I think the jacket priced well, considering the brand behind and the warranty and the materials. So here's my review of this Ten Hope jacket from Canada Goose. Let me know what you think. Please suggest in the comments your favorite field jacket. 
and uh, after maybe a few weeks or even a month i will do like a full review about this jacket but for now this is my thoughts and first impressions about this jacket thank you for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time bye now and take care